Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. SMIC has achieved mass production using its 14 nanometers process technology. This is no small achievement, as 14 nanometers can already meet the needs of most mid range mobile phones, home appliances, and even automotive chips. Even more exciting, SMIC has improved its 14 nanometers process through N plus 1 or N plus 2 technology improvements, bringing its performance close to 7 nanometers. This means that using the 14 nanometers process, China can also produce chips with performance approaching 7 nanometers. However, the reality is that China's chip manufacturing still faces numerous challenges. The most significant challenge is the lithography equipment. Currently, the world's most advanced lithography equipment is the EUV lithography equipment from ASML of the Netherlands, which is capable of producing 3 nanometers chips. China, on the other hand, still uses DUV lithography equipment, also known as deep ultraviolet lithography equipment. The good news is that Shanghai Microelectronics has successfully mass-produced a dual-stage system, a core component of the lithography equipment. Furthermore, recent news indicates that China's first domestically produced DUV lithography equipment has begun testing potentially facilitating the trial production of 7 nanometers and even 5 nanometers chips. However, don't let this good news get you carried away. Mass production of 7 nanometers is not simply a matter of modifying the 14 nanometers process. Achieving 7 nanometers requires more advanced lithography equipment, more sophisticated materials, and a more comprehensive industrial chain. While SMIC's N plus 1 process can achieve a 7 nanometers equivalent, its yield is only 55%, far lower than TSMC's 80%, and its cost is 40% higher. This means that while technically feasible, commercialization remains difficult. However, China's chip industry continues to advance. In the materials field, China's first carbon-based integrated circuit production line, led by the Chongqing Institute of Carbon-Based Integrated Circuits of Peking University, officially entered mass production in June 2025. Carbon-based chips can achieve the performance of 7 nanometers silicon-based chips using a 28 nanometers process. Electrons migrate through carbon-based materials approximately 10 times faster than silicon, theoretically achieving performance hundreds of times that of silicon-based chips while consuming a fraction of the power. China has also achieved breakthroughs in specific areas. For example, Huawei's Ascend 910B chip, which uses SMIC's 7 nanometers process, boasts superior energy efficiency compared to NVIDIA's H20 chip and has already captured some of NVIDIA's market share. China holds a significant global market share in specific sectors, such as automotive MCU chips, security chips, and fast-charging chips, at 28%, 45%, and 60%, respectively. Frankly, Chip manufacturing isn't something that can be achieved overnight. Just as Bose breakthrough in LCD panels required a decade of development, the chip industry requires even more patient effort across the entire supply chain. China shouldn't be discouraged by its current inability to achieve 3 nanometers, nor should it be blindly optimistic due to its 14 nanometers breakthrough. The current state of China's chip industry is like a runner, slow to start, but steady.
14 nanometers mass production is a significant step and 7 nanometers is on the way. However, achieving true technological independence will require more time and investment. SMIC has achieved a breakthrough in mass production of its 14 nanometers process with performance approaching 7 nanometers. Domestically produced carbon-based chips have surpassed competitors in testing of DUV lithography equipment. Huawei's Ascend chip has captured market share, and China has taken a leading position in areas such as automotive MCUs. While the road to chip independence is long, every step has made domestically produced equipment more affordable. The role of Liang Mengsheng's team behind this cannot be underestimated. Liang Mengsheng is a legendary figure in the semiconductor industry. He previously led a team to steadily improve the yield rate of the 14 nanometers process, enabling domestically produced chips to cross the commercial threshold. For this 5 nanometers trial production, Liang Mingsheng's team is once again at the forefront, meticulously improving yields step by step, from process optimization to process refinement. Many details are circulating within the industry, such as how to address defect management and adjust front-end parameters. Without these technological breakthroughs, even the best equipment wouldn't have dared to go into mass production. It's fair to say that without strong talent and team support, China's chip industry simply can't thrive relying solely on equipment. It's thanks to their combined efforts, taking the battle and capturing the stronghold, that this crucial turnaround has been achieved. The convergence of domestically produced materials, equipment, and talent has truly created a complete, closed loop for China's semiconductor industry chain. The significance of this closed loop is far more than a temporary glitz. It lies at the heart of chip independence, even under the pressure of external sanctions. China's industry chain can operate independently. Seeing this, you might ask, what do ordinary people feel? In fact, from mobile phones and computers to cars, an increasing number of Chinese brands are now using domestically produced chips. While high-end chips are still imported, mid-range chips can already be produced independently. This means that in the future, Chinese mobile phones and computers may no longer rely so heavily on imported chips, and prices will become more affordable. The chip industry's long march has no end, and every nanometer of progress is a milestone in independent innovation. China cannot expect to catch up with the world's top level overnight, but as long as China keeps its feet on the ground and takes each step firmly, it will one day have its own chip world.